Let me ask you something. Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I, I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Was it hard, settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth. But it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving?
was some recent activity in uh, here, here, <laughs> in Diamond City that you might want to know about. I've heard, I mean, it seems that uh, Nick Valentine is looking into some uh, former residents of Diamond City. There was a house in, it was in uh, the West Stands, and there was a guy and a kid living there. And they didn't really bother anyone, but, well, I guess maybe there was something funny about the whole thing. And I mean weird funny, not haha funny. I mean, I saw the guy, and he looked, uh, sort of scary. But, well, I don't really know much more than that. But, uh, I guess if you see that guy, living with him, you should tell Nick or the guards. Or both. Uranium fever is on next. And, well, I... And I'm telling you, Steve, I was ready to stop. <clears throat> we appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself rejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? Hey, now. I didn't sign up to be someone else's kill bot. We need allies, not opportunistic mercenaries. I have no inclination to pay for your services. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. So, you're gonna spill the beans? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brother Luke Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. I've been trying to send a distress call to our vessel at Boston International Airport, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir. If I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Then you promise to return When you don't I really burn Well I guess I'll never learn And I show it 
If you got a heart and if you're kind, then don't keep us apart. Make up your mind. You're undecided now. So what are you gonna do? Then you promise to return When you don't, I really burn Well, I guess I'll never learn And I show it and If you've got a heart And if you're kind And don't keep us apart Make up your mind You're undecided now So what are you gonna do? No accounting for taste. Now, if you don't love me I wish you'd say so I love you so much, honey, I just got to know I'm just a fool for you. What are you gonna do? Paladin Dance. You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. When one comes, I'm a whole base on. Somebody beating on a ding dong. Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of barrels and best in papers. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk, but getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. Describe Halen detected some disturbing energy in the area that needs to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only obtainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readers might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. As my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. Despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home, or end up missing. 
whole lot of shit. Whole lot of it. Yep. That I was, heard uh, take a signal. Just when I thought we were getting along. Hey, how, uh, how about a bit of good news? If you, you know, haven't already seen him, which I did, so... I don't... Uh, 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 Nick Valentine is back in town. Well, they, they thought that he might be dead. Or destroyed, or whatever. Uh, glad you're back, Nick. Ray Smith is right behind you, baby. I mean, it's his song. He's not actually behind him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle anyone. You should turn around. There it is. There might Arc be jet systems. Behind, but it's not there shouldn't be system. any exterior security. So we'll head in through the front. security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute since. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. Be able to hack this. Hey, something for you. Think you can unlock that terminal? You forgot to. He's a Not that either. Open He's for business. <gasps> He's a dog. The man can look me in the eye and tell the biggest, sweetest lie. And I forget that lipstick on his tie. He's a demon. You must die. He's a devil. Drop dead, but I keep loving him instead. 
Mama must have gone. He's a demon. Hey, toss He's anything you can't haul my way. ahead. Should be our final stop. Warning. Power loss detected. Engine core is offline. Maybe, maybe I should go to school about love. When it comes to getting chummy, I'll admit I'm quite a dummy. Worry, 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 woe is me. I found out that I'm a yes. I go worry and ride along. Life is fine, but with the worry in mind. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Song was one. Uh, hold on. Engine firing. Test 
first firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Honest here, it's well. Uh, not talking about how long his naps are. <laughs> so here it is. Oh my God, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames, but thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. She had a well developed personality. That isn't necessary. I insist you keep it. The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now, as far as the second matter. I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. When we met at the police station, you told me you wanted to join the Brotherhood of Steel. Is that something you're still willing to do? Or should we just say our goodbyes? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Show a faultless 
personality. Why are certain girls offered certain things like sable coats and wedding rings by men who wear their spats right? That's right. So don't you say I'm smart and have the kindest heart. Oh, what a wonderful thing. Just tell me how you like my... There's no way anyone survived that. Guess we ought to make sure. Got the personality. Paladin Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. You got we have the transmitter. Access. Finally, some good Great news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Palin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. She shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Are you going to teach me this code of ethics? If you are paying attention in ArcJet, you should have learned some of it already. The rest will become apparent as you spend time with your fellow soldiers. Now, since I know you're eager to get started, I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty kind of and respect. Is, uh, you fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Does this mean I'm one of you now? As far as I'm concerned, yes. Ad Victorium, knight. She doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means like to victory. <laughs> In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Paladin dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon? Man's a lunatic. Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Sure I'm crazy, crazy in love. Like the wind that shakes the bow, he moves me with a smile. The difficult I'll do right now, the impossible will take a little while. I say I'll care forever. And I mean forever If I have to hold 
up the sky. Crazy he calls me, sure I'm crazy, crazy in love am I, like the wind. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. The impossible will take a little while. I say the I Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It and never I ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that angel to take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. On final approach to the airport, the Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Mission ground. Uh, new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. 
And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance is taking the You don't look much like a soldier to me. Then what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else? Or was everything I said understood? Not even a hint? Come on, I deserve it. No. You'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismiss, Initiate. Don't get any ideas, Seth. So, you folks, um, this radio know station, to look. We, we don't really make any caps, and uh, there are, uh, well, some people help you stay in the air. People like, uh, like this. Diamond City Surplus, now open 24 hours a day. Management reserves the right to refuse service to anyone. Especially since Roy Brown is back with Welcome aboard. Good rockin tonight. I guess. I mean you wouldn't you wouldn't bother singing about it if the rockin' wasn't all that great. <laughs> like average rockin' or subpar rockin'. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressive, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mid beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium. 
unless you like getting radiation sickness. I'd stay away from the ferals. Put two in the head and they'll stay dead. Advice to live by. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. Don't worry, I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Some tears must fall, but someday the sun will shine. Some folks can lose the blues in their hearts, but when I think of you, another shot. That is green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. To each Carry on. Some rain. So how did it look Excuse there? me, Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first, in order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. But too much of that stuff is falling into mine. I'll go it alone for now and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. I know that someday that sun is bound to shine. Some folks can lose the blues in their hearts. But when I think now. of nothing. So, the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see. I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. 
You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Would it help if I promised not to tell anyone else? I'm not really looking for sympathy. And honestly, I don't know you that well. Maybe some other time. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. This is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm... Proctor. Remember, Travis. come find me when you're done meeting the rest anyway, of the crew. Here's work, the, uh, ah, oh, it's, it's the ink spots. The human-looking synths are the worst. They hide in plain sight. What did you want? I don't How can a machine believe it's alive? It's pretty Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. I just want to start. Great big flame down in your heart. You see, 
way down inside of me. Glad you finally Alan stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? And that one sure, go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, Nobody and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. yourself with the Pridman's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, sister? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sentence. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Super mutants with nuclear weapons? I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night knowing that. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed.
Vertibirds in this kind of shape. Ray Smith, everybody. Instruments are green and clear for release. Yeah. Well, there's this article. Down 
to the minimum have faith or pandemonium liable to walk upon the scene to illustrate my last remark Jonah in the way no way in the art what did they do just when everything looks so dark man is said with an a man if it acts just like a cross patch has a face with whiskers that scratch if it's stubborn it as can be mean and ornery it's a man if it brags and tries to make you think it's wonderful be <laughs> Just a light in the sky. It's you and you find you like it, you grab it. It's a man. to make you think it's wonderful be on the lookout don't let it fool you but if it's kneeling down on one knee saying darling please marry me then don't hesitate better name the date and then grab it hold it hang on to it for it's a man got it Gotta love Betty Hutton, right? Right? Right. When was the last time someone came through here? And now, uh, a word for several from our sponsors. Stop in for a drink at the Dugout Inn. The stories are free, but the moonshine will cost you. Ask for Vadim Bobrov. Here's Frankie Carl with a song that, frankly, sounds a little too good to be true. <laughs> I'm not saying he was embellishing. I, uh, but, uh, well, no, okay. I guess I am saying that. Never mind. Here's uh, one more tomorrow.
wants them out of the way. Crazy calls me. Paladin. Look at this sure place. I'm crazy. You must hate these mutants as much as crazy I do. Crazy in love, I'd say. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Shakes the bow, he moves me with a smile. The difficult I'll do right now, the impossible will take a little while. I say I'll care forever, and I mean forever. If I have to hold up the sky Crazy he calls me Sure I'm crazy Crazy in love Am I? Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Single women, married women, all maids and all. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit board to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong is simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. 
By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the Synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. If you're the kind of person who is uh, tired of living in Diamond City, and you maybe want a adventure or something? Where do I start? I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions on where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Teagan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility, the Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Those mysterious energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own, so we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Suddenly, here, child. I'm trying to minimize reactor chitter to adjust the compression rate. Vertebrate docking systems have... and fusion.